All right, what's up, everybody? I've been playing the Marvel Rivals beta, uh, and I think I've pretty much found what I think is the strongest composition. Uh, I'm pretty much going to break down why I think this game's going to have to have roll queue. I know a lot of people right now are saying, oh, it doesn't, roll queue ruined Overwatch. This game doesn't need it. Uh, I'm pretty certain it's going to need it in some capacity, at least in ranked. Uh, I guess quick play, I guess this is fine. I mean, this was a quick play game, whatever. But, I mean, this is, like, in rank, this is, like, not really, to me, not really acceptable. This is, like, a viable strategy, uh, what I just played against here. And it's not GOATS. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll we'll get into it. We'll, uh, I'll show you guys what occurred, essentially. But, um, <clears throat> so... You're going to see real quick, so this doesn't, right now it doesn't look ridiculous, they, and this isn't the composition they play. Uh, I don't know what we're picking here, but I end up going, so I play Strange this map. Um, yeah, so I play Strange this map. So we have like the traditional 2-2-2 two, two, two composition. Uh, they are playing current i mean it looks like oh they're playing one tank two uh two healer three dps that doesn't look abnormal right and i'm not sure if it's if they play this comp initially and then they swap to something different i'm trying to remember exactly what happened and i don't remember if we won the first fight and they swapped but uh battle starts in five four three two Oh, what? sorry. I have a fucking stream going in the background. The um, okay, so... It, this game actually starts out fine for us. We actually hold them for quite a while on first. Uh, so I'm playing the Strange. There's like these duels going on on the right side of the map. Meanwhile... Um, I'm trying to kind of keep this Venom off our Jeff, because Jeff is just so vulnerable to him. I accidentally misclicked there, but... Um, Solomon got revived by the raccoon. So right now, the Punisher's just set up there. I'm kind of... Me and Groot are just kind of trying to wall him off, keep him from doing anything. Um, he's obviously trying to build ultimate. There you got all these guys dueling over here. We're kind of trying to keep their... They got their supports sort of helping their tank. But it's not... It, it, this game didn't start that well for them. They're playing this 3 DPS comp against a 2-2-2. Our group kind of fed there. He went a little too deep. They're having this issue where they're kind of a little too spread off from each other. And their one tank is kind of uh, under a lot of pressure because there's only one of them. So Adam pops their alt. We get swallowed by Jeff, and Jeff spits me over there, which is actually, I think, works out pretty well. I go kill the Adam here behind the thing. Um, Rocket Raccoon's on the point. He's one. He's dead. So everything's going okay, but... Pay attention to what they just did. So, Sneaky, who was playing Punisher, I think he had popped his... I don't know if he popped his ult or not. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just swapped over. So, he's gotten Luna Snow. So, now they're playing 2 DPS, 3 support, 1 tank. Pay attention to this, because... Honestly, through the first 3 minutes of this game, we've pretty much dominated them. We've outplayed them overall. If you look at the scoreboard, I mean... Numbers-wise, we've done a lot better as a team. Our Star-Lord's playing very well. He's already got five final blows. He's 5-0. and oh. um, And, yeah, everything's gone very smooth thus far. I haven't really had any major hiccups. Uh, I've had two deaths, but it hasn't really been an issue. We've managed to keep our supports relatively clean. I know the Venom kind of doesn't want to dive our supports because he doesn't want to leave his... his Well, it was two supports. He doesn't want to leave them by themselves because then that gives us an opportunity to... You know, one of the tanks, could, like, Groot could probably push up on them. Um, or, you know, he doesn't want to basically get walled off from his healers because there's a Groot and a Strange. So 
he kind of... But keep in mind, so they just swapped a three healer. And this is kind of where the game's going to shift slightly. Um, I mean, this was a long-ass game, by the way. This is a 13-minute match. And the last fight of this game is the longest fight I've, I've played. I've probably got about 20, not yeah, 20, 15 hours in this beta. It's like the longest fight. It's the longest fight I've seen. So it's going really well. We, we hunted down the support again. So far, things have been going pretty good. Um, two and a half minutes in. We've pretty much held them as good as we can hope for. We got four ultimates coming up as well. So we should be able to, if we play it right, win the next fight. But here's where things get crazy. Do you guys just notice? I might go back. I might actually go back. Hold on. So, our Groot has his ultimate. So, Oogly is playing Spider-Man. So, I'm going to slow this down a bit. It's about half speed. So, Spider-Man's trying to make a push, right? I think the Groot... The Groot... So... You notice how the group managed to get both their Adam and their Spider-Man in his ultimate, right? So he's... I mean, I'm behind him, right? I'm I'm behind him here. I see him do this. He's here. Our Hela's even here. So we all are trying to target this Spider-Man down. I'm going to even slow it down further to 0.25 speed. So he's half health right now. He's been stunned. Look at his health. Watch this. So we hit him. We hit him. Oh, Adam heals him. Oh, look, he's 1 HP. Nope, nope, he's not 1 HP anymore. Oh, he's 1 HP a third time. Oh, no, he's not. He just was just went down. He dropped down to 1 HP three times. And because of this triple healer comp, he, they were basically able to just keep dumping healing into him. And he was able to survive me, Hella, and Groot all shooting the same target. All three of us. All three of us are shooting the same target. And we could not kill it. Because there's three supports. If there's two supports, he dies. Because they just would not have had enough resources to keep him sustained that long. He would have died probably the third time at least. Uh, but he managed to live there. That's crazy. I, that was like the first time where I noticed it was three support. Because I was like, holy shit, how did he not die there? We all were targeting him on purpose to get a pick there in that fight, right? And we had also hit the Adam Warlock with the ult. I might even, part of me even likes to, I almost prefer to watch it here. So, here comes, so I pop Eye of Agamotto, and this was bad timing. I kind of, I, I know, I, as soon as I hit Q, I saw that she had popped her ultimate, so it was kind of a waste. Yeah, I hit two people with it, whatever. It's unfortunate it kind of went that way, but whatever. I, I knew it was a bad ult, I back up, right? I think it's easier to watch this at .5 speed. One time speed just too fast paced in my opinion, so I might just watch the rest of this on that. But you can see, look, the venom he pushes way too far forward, gets walled off by my group, dies. So in theory, that should be a big loss. But, but you notice he just got revived, so he fed. But Ra Rocket Raccoon's ability revived him. Here we have another Spider Man. Now they're pushing back in. They Even though they had a guy feed, they got basically tempo res. They're pushing back in. They're swarming the shit out of us right now. So they push in. They kill our Groot. I think it's partially because in the back... Wait, who's back here? Oh, their Spider-Man was putting pressure on the support. So they kill him. They kill him, but they're on point currently. So we've lost our Groot, but their Spider-Man died. But they keep in mind they've lost two play they 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 lost Venom and then they lost their Spider Man we've lost Groot but now they have full point control despite losing two players because I mean we did split slightly but they have like full point control now our Hella was up there using alt I'm blocking their alt so I I guess I can go back and show what I was doing during this so because their Hella was trying to kill our Hella. And I saw that she's won. I come up with my shield to try and block her ultimate. And this is the right play, I think. I didn't even realize she was here. Let's be... I I am surprised. Like, I did not even see her. I just figured... I, I heard her ult. I didn't know where her exact position was. But I was going to try and block the Hella ultimate as much as I could. To try and keep anybody that might have been on the ground beneath me or around me from getting blasted. I knew Hella was somewhere around me. I was trying to protect her. I didn't realize she was literally right here. 
Um, so I'm pretty sure she lives. Oh, wait, no, she doesn't die in that alt. Okay. All right, well, never mind. I was trying to block it, though. Uh, so I guess it was probably a waste of time. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, so it's three on two on point right now, but our supports are coming back in. They just killed the Spider-Man, so our healing is coming back in to help us. Mantis pops her support alt so we can push back out onto the point. Or Hela comes out with us as well. We're all targeting Venom right now. We're, the supports are on their team are backing up, so Venom's the natural, t easiest target to just shoot at in this position. But, uh, yeah, they're trying to poke us here. So we have our Hela over here, so they're kind of trying to find different angles on us. And I think we're holding okay considering. So Jeff goes to try to swallow... The Adam, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it's because Adam was in his alt or what, but Jeff's alt basically didn't work out. Uh, we get a kill here, so we get a pick on Hella. Guess what? Once again, does not matter because of Adam ultimate. The Hella wa basically walked into our backline over here in the arcade, died, and then got rezzed. And I'm trying to think. I think it's because it's one of the supports and it's Hella. They're obviously trying not to die themselves because we don't have that. We don't have reses, right? So, it's like another position where even though they had a big miss position and they fed another player, it, like, didn't matter. We're, like, having to use ultimates because they have extra lives. We're having to use ults to stay even with them. But look at their ult economy. They have four ultimates right now. They, they're in a pretty good position. And now we're starting to drop. So, I mean, all things considered, we held pretty well in the first point for almost four minutes, considering, like, I think, what, a minute and 30 seconds in, they swapped to this composition. The problem is, right, if they just keep backing up, at a certain point, we just can't kill them fast enough. So, yeah, here, I'm like, I know I'm basically surrounded. Groot died. I'm just trying to stall the point. I know I'm dead. I drop. Whatever. They get first point. It's whatever. I'll let them get first point. I don't think any other action happens here. Um, wait, is there a guy on my team over here? Oh, shit. Our fucking Star-Lord's really trapped. Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. Um, maybe he could have jumped off faster, but it's, it's whatever. Okay. All right. Back to fighting again here. So, first fight on second point. So our Groot's holding a very forward position right now. Our Jeff's dumping healing into him because he's obviously getting focused by everybody. I'm coming back. I had died. So we have, what, five right now? Our Star-Lord is, I think, still coming back. Yeah. So the Venom's pushing on us. We're kind of backing up. We know we're not six right now. So we're going to give them a little bit of space. I'm trying to put pressure on this fucker. But look at how low he gets. Oh, he pops his thing. So... They already have crazy healing on top of the fact that Venom also has just a crazy high health pool. Um, so... Oh, okay, so that's our ult. The Venom, what is going on up here? I didn't even look at that. So, again, the Spider-Man's making an aggressive play trying to attack our back line once again. I think he died again. So, the Spider-Man consistently is feeding in the back row every fight... Basically, every fight is five on six, and they're still winning fights because they have so much sustain that it doesn't matter. We're coming up on a huge ult advantage. Yeah, they have three ults right now, but we have two, and we're about to get two more. I'm actually, yeah, yeah, we're about to get all of our ults, actually. We're all at, like, 70%, right? So we're coming up on a big ult, ult farm here. I am ready to put putting on pressure show. on me. The Jeff's doing a good job keeping me upright when that Venom tried to ultimate me to finish me off. Here comes Spider-Man. He already got revived by Rocket Raccoon, so he's allowed to feed every 45 seconds for free with no punishment. Um, so we're trying to make a move, but guess what? She's got her ult, and that's basically Transcendence for 10 seconds uh, in Overwatch terms. So can't basically fight them at all during it, so me and the group back up. Can't really fight them. Um, yeah. So, Spider-Man tries to go in once again into the back line. Look what happens. Same result as before. Feeds again. Guys, that's what? That's the fourth time he's fed this game? In, and we're five minutes in? He's fed four times in the same way every time. He just flies in and dies. 
He's feeding every like 45 seconds. Like. The Groot's in trouble, but good wall from him there. This is real firepower. So they put the raccoon alt down. It's kind of a weird position. I have my alt. I try to pop my alt. Uh, it doesn't. I like look, watch. I, I'm trying to shoot this raccoon. Look, look. Oh, now he zooms away. Oh, now he's getting healed again. I couldn't kill him. Look, he's one. Oh, look at that. Adam just fully. Did you guys see that? So, I'm trying to headshot him here. He's getting pocketed by Adam Warlock, okay? He zips away. He zips away. And, and meanwhile, while this is fucking happening, our, uh, I think our Star-Lord just died over here. Is he taking a duel over here? Maybe not. I don't know what happened to him. So, oh, the Adam died. So, he gets a res. He gets a self-res every 120 seconds. So he literally self-reses, right? The raccoon, as soon as he gets unstunned, starts zipping away. Look at this. So our our mantis sees he's won and tries to push in to finish him off. So watch what fucking happens here. So she actually lands a... Sh Look at his health bar. She lands a shot on him. He is literally 1 HP right now. The Venom's obviously turning to try and stop her. The Groot's pushing forward. They have the uh, the thing that boosts the damage, right? The Raccoon Ultimate. So, Adam Warlock, look. Oh, I think she, he grabbed the med kit. That's, cr that's crazy. I, I still think it's crazy that he gets full health instantly like that. I thought it was Adam Warlock's ability. I guess he's dead here. I initially, from the other angle, thought it was Warlock came out of res and used his heal ability to fully heal Raccoon instantly. Okay, I guess that wasn't as crazy as I thought it was. It's it's still, it's kind of unfortunate. Because the alt economy didn't really go our way. And now the alt economy, we, we kind of burned our alts and didn't get a lot of value. Partially because of the mass healing, but it didn't work out in the same way we had hoped it would. I don't know, I mean, it's still, I mean... They're still only halfway to the point, 240. I mean, we're not doing that bad, but... Yeah, here comes the Adam Ultimate again. I think that's the third one he's gotten so far in this game. So, the problem is for the next, what, 10, 15 seconds, anybody we kill just gets auto-resed. And look at the range on this thing, guys. So, that giant yellow aura is how long the range is. Look at this. Look at how far away you can be. Look. Look at this. So the, the Hella could be on the high ground and die over here and get rezzed. That is insane to me. Look at how, like, it's crazy. There's, look at the fucking range on this. Look at it. I mean, the thing that's weird is this doesn't even look like this is in the cent- This doesn't look like it's in the center of the alt. Like, you notice how the range he is here? That's way closer than, like, like, look all the way over here. That's way further away. So I don't understand how that works. But that's just really weird. That doesn't make any sense. So we're just trying to hold cart, but uh, it's a weird position because it's like, we're trying to keep, in a way we're trying to keep their tank and like two of their supports from like, like back so they can't heal their, the rest of their players that are attacking our uh, DPS and supports, but, uh, it's just, like, a weird situation. I'm, I, it's, like, trying to keep the group, oh, and the group gets overwhelmed, because I go up high ground to try and help a little bit, because I see we're in trouble up here, but it's just, we get pushed back, and it goes really badly, and the building collapses, which does not help. I'm just trying to hold my ground. I've blocked... 14,000 groups block 25k damage so far in this game. You can see we still have really generally pretty good damage numbers as well, but like look at their healing. Like, that's crazy. I mean, our healers are trying their best, I get it, but like, that's kind of insane. Just they're not even playing that well numbers wise. Like, the fact that our two healers are doing like 
still doing like 80% of the healing that they are is kind of crazy because it really shouldn't be. <laughs> like, that means they're not particularly playing that well on healer, but because there's three of them, they're able to just sort of make up for that. Um, yeah, so this is like really rough. So we're like getting pushed back right now. Like, look at how many players it takes to kill the Venom. That's just crazy. He even uses his ult when he's literally 1 HP. Like, look at that temp health, man. He used his ult to survive for an extra 2 seconds so he could get a bunch of health. That's so stupid. So he lives there when he shouldn't have. I'm just desperately trying to block Cart as long as I can. I know I'm pretty much cut off. I'm, like, spinning like a top. Here comes the Luna ult, which is, I think, honestly, was worth the value forcing that ult out. But... Jeff got ulted. I'm dead now. They pushed in and killed me. I was just trying to stop the cart. So they have about three minutes to get to last. And last is hard to assault on this map. Because you have to push up high ground. So, in theory, like... The thing that's crazy, right, is we're, like... It's still gonna be another six minutes before this game's over. And we're, <laughs> we're at 3.13. So that's just gonna show, like how much longer some of these fights go on for. But it's like a weird position. So our Jeff is dead coming off respawn. Our group got staggered. It's like we look, I died and then basically they pushed in and cleaned house. They wiped most of us out. I mean, it's just, to me, it's like, how would you even beat this composition if they were on defense? Like, we, like in this game, we couldn't beat it on defense. Imagine the other way around. Like, that's just crazy. Oh, I think, is our Mantis in trouble over here? She's taking a duel with Spider-Man. Does he feed again? I don't remember who wins that fight. But it's like, oh my god, Spider-Man fed again. That's like the sixth time he's fed this game so far. He's got six deaths. Yeah, so he has by far the most deaths in the game. And he's only got 3,000 damage dealt. Basically, everyone on my team has more than that. So he has done nothing for his team. They're playing 5v6. That just goes to show how strong this composition is. So Color gets a kill on the... Uh, but he gets frozen to the Luna. I mean, she wasn't able to save it. The Hella ult basically gets no value for them. We have a bunch of alts coming up here. We got four. They have one about to get Adam, so two. <clears throat> so, oh, we just used a hella alt as well. So we're in the middle of that. So. Is this the fucking... Is this Spider-Man? He dies again! He's fed seven times so far, man. And we're like, what? Eight minutes in? He's been feeding non-stop. So here's Adam's ultimate. He's going to pop his ult. So keep in mind, guys, this fight is going to continue through the rest of the game. So this fight technically began at... When did this fight technically start? I mean, I wouldn't say it started here. I would say once these two guys come off respawn, this is when the fight essentially starts. So, maybe we wait a couple seconds, right? Okay, so Hella is back up. Alright, now I think we're kind of in an actual fight. I think the fight starts around here. So, it kind of initiates with Mantis and Spider-Man fighting over here. And she kills him. So, the fight basically starts at about 2 minutes, 55 seconds or so. The Venom player basically hard overextends and feeds. Spider-Man gets rezzed by Rocket Raccoon's thing. So, in a way, it's like, but here's the thing, right? So, yeah, we technically got a pick on the Venom. I guess we got a pick here. Okay, maybe, maybe this isn't the last fight. Maybe it's the fight after this. It might be that. The more I think about it, that's probably what it actually is, so... Let's wait for the third support to come back in and the Venom. Okay, so we got... 
Spider-Man, again, I think he, right, he dies once again over here. He's ulted, like, once this entire game, and it's been, like, eight minutes. So we have three alts, they have two. We basically kind of won that last fight. And this is, like, the hardest... I think this is the hardest third point to probably... Well, no, 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 I wouldn't say this is the hardest third point to assault. But this is probably the second hardest out of the, the three maps. So he pops his ult. Tries to get a pick. Oh, look at how fast he's getting healed, guys. In between the burst of the Star-Lord ult, which is a lock-on. So we do manage to get a pick, though, at least. Both the Groot and him both target the same guy. And they manage to get one pick. So, that's something. Here's the issue. Okay, so... He gets revived by that thing. Oh, no, no, he gets the self-revive. So we did destroy... So keep in mind, right? So, we got picks, right? But... Again, it's like, so he has a self-res, Raccoon has a res, so it's like, even though we get two picks there, basically, like, the, the Star-Lord ult leads to basically two kills, look, they're all regrouped again. Like, after about ten seconds, they're all fully regrouped once again. So, we basically don't stagger them. Every time we win a fight, they don't lose, like, 20, 30 seconds, like, getting regrouped. They're basically, after five to ten seconds, they're, like, ready to go again. So, it's like the fighting is basically, con like, constant, right? It's, like, extremely constant. So, Venom's basically trying to alt me. Uh, I almost die here. I think I managed to get my shield up, and I back up to my two supports. I also back up, grab that Jeff orb. I nearly... I'm, like, terrified here. I'm like, oh, God, I need to get that. So, the Spider-Man... Almost feeds again. He luckily gets out of there for his sake. Because that would have been, what, death number eight? Yeah. Everybody else is five at most. So I try to pop I Agamotto. Completely wasted. But I was just trying to find an opening, and I just could not. They have the Raccoon Ultimate up. She has hers. I mean, these support ultimates, there's like one up all the time, basically. For the most part. Although Adam did just use his ult. So there is a window. They're pushing in with this ult, though, because we essentially can't fight them during this. They push in. Our Groot's having to back up. I'm trying to, like, do itch. something. I'm just trying to keep any damage that's coming from the cart, like, off. The Adam pushes forward, but he backs up. The Venom's, like, CCing us to keep us from killing his support. Look. So, our, we get another pick, right? But, guess what? I'm pretty sure his thing revives him. So, we get another pick. So, we get we kill Adam and we kill Rocket Raccoon. So, we got multiple picks. It's looking like we can win this game. Genuinely, we're in a position right now where we're coming up on five alts. They have... They're coming up on four. And it's probably going to come down to, in theory, one, maybe two more fights. Uh, we're in a position where, as long as we don't blow it, we should be fine. Yeah. Like, it's looking okay, generally. Like, at this point, I thought we might be able to win this game. I thought we had a decent shot of winning. But... This, oh, and, and we even get a pick. Look, we get a pick on the Hella. The Star-Lord continues to play really well in this game. He's he's consistently getting a pick like every other fight. Spider-Man Spider tries to go in and alt our back line while we're all here. I think he gets one. Yeah, he kills our Mantis. So he finally does something. He alts and gets one kill. Um, so he does contribute. The thing that sucks, right? So I'm pretty sure the Hella... Did the hell I not get revived? So we traded evenly, I think. He used an alt. But, um... Our Hella pops her alt. Gets a pick here on Adam. So it's, like, looking really good. It's, like, looking like... And I'm trying to stop this. Unfortunately, since he was able to put this behind this shot blocker, I had to come all the way up out here to shoot it, and I wasn't able to stop it. So that Adam pick basically gets negated again. I think this is probably what... They've probably revived or negated maybe, like, uh, 10 kills this game. Like, 
Like, like look at look at some of their death counts. Six, eight, seven. Like they have multiple players with like more deaths than us. Like we have two, three, four, and five. They have two, three, four, six, seven, eight. They have guys who have been dying far more than us in this match. Down to 30 seconds. Our hell is trying to kill Adam. He gets her again. Or gets him again, sorry. So in theory we should be fine, right? There's 20 seconds left. Uh, Venom's basically... I don't think we're able to kill him here, though. I think he pops his... Yeah, he pops his... And this is the th other thing. I mean, the Venom's not helping. He's, like, the worst tank to play against in this situation because he has more health than any of them. So he's, like, the hardest to kill. I get uh, my Groot's trying to keep fire away from us, but in a way, he's kind of blocking us off from being able to shoot their supports. But it's not really his fault. I get what he's trying to do. He's trying to block healing from them, but in a way he's blocking it so we can't shoot at them. So our Hela is actually making a really aggressive stance. I think the Spider-Man feeds again. Like he's won once again. Does he die here? I am ready to put on a show, yep, he dies again. So the Star-Lord's been dominating him the whole game. Hela does pop her ult and claps our Jeff, unfortunately. I'm trying to stop this. He, she's shooting down at our Mantis. Groot tried to pop an ult, got countered. And guess what? They have another Rocket Raccoon ultimate. They have another... They have Rocket Raccoon's ult as well in this position. Our Star-Lord's trying to do something. The issue is they popped his ult to counter the Star-Lord ult. So rip, there we go. And then, so now we only have basically two ults left. We have the Jeff ult and we have my ultimate. Now, guess what the problem is? They have Adam ult, which is going to basically, ultimately, mean I can't use my ultimate right now. Because if I kill anybody, they're going to get resurrected immediately. So, it's like, what do we do here? So, I'm like trying to back up and just hold this pot position. I get a pick on... Their raccoon just walks into us like a moron, walks in and feeds... Doesn't matter, gets revived at the point. You know what I think needs to be changed is when somebody dies and they get rezzed by an Adam alt, it should be where like where they died, they get res there. Not like where the alt's placed. Because if you place the alt back here and somebody walks in and feeds, they just get revived back here. And it's like, yeah, even though they're not full health, like like, even though they're not full health, like, you can't kill them then, because they're in the back line. And we're, like, having a fight at a choke right now. I can't, we can't kill somebody who gets revived back here. If, the, like, like... To me, it's like, if somebody's getting revived, your team should have to push up to defend them, because they're injured, right? If you can manage to push forward and, and bring them back, then, you know, if you can push forward and actually defend the res, then you should deserve to get it. You shouldn't just get it for free. I'm sorry, that's just bullshit. I pop Ayagamoto. Unfortunately, the Groot wall is kind of blocking some of the fire. It wouldn't even matter if I kill anybody because, look, the Rocket Raccoon thing is down there. The Groot's, like, trying to keep us from taking too much damage. I get what he's doing, but again, it's like... He's kind of helping their team more in a way. But it's like, we've been fighting here for the last minute and a half straight. We just can't kill them. They have no alts. We have Jeff alt. But unfortunately, we lose our Star-Lord. He finally loses a duel. Like, we almost killed a Hela, but she backs away. I'm, like, under extreme duress. I'm trying to back up. I'm, like, 1 HP while getting juggled. Spider-Man's here to kill me. I'm trying to stop him as well. I'm 1. I'm like, holy shit. I flew up to try and stop from getting popped. Our Groot went way too deep and died. And this is kind of where we start to collapse here, unfortunately. Our Hela is trying to avoid damage as well. Their sustain is just so strong that maybe if we were able to come up on another set of ults, like I know Groot's going to have his ult here soon. Like, we have our Mantis ult, which is nice, right? The Jeff ult, unfortunately, is not going to be able to really do a lot here. I mean, what is he going to do? He can eat some people, but it's like... He's out of desperation. I think he try he's trying to drag somebody over here, but it's like, that's too far away. I mean, he ate the Venom for a little bit, but it's like, whatever. He can't really do much. He's trying to heal himself. 
If our group can get back, maybe we have a chance. The issue is... This fight's just not ending, and you can see, look at how many alts they're about to build. They're about to build four, because this fight has cycled alts, like, two times already. Like, it's just not ending. And they have so much more sustain than we do. They're not having to play well at all. They're basically able to take shitloads of damage without having any good, like, not needing to have good position. Their Hella feeds, guess what, doesn't matter, gets revived. Hella flies over and feeds like a dumbass, gets revived. <laughs> Gets revived at full health, by the way. I I don't believe this should be a full full health res. Honestly, it just should not be. Because you simply don't have to go... It's not like Mercy, where you have to go over to the person and res where they are from. They res from where that thing is. So either, if they're going to res at full health, they should resurrect in danger. Or, if they're going to continue to res where they're... They need to be like half health, so you have a chance of killing them or something. I, I don't know. I feel like they should just continue to res. Like, it should be, like, a res where they died or something. I, I, I don't know. There needs to be something changed with this, because this shit's just too powerful, straight up. Like, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Like, we can't push through all of them to s destroy that. And, he, and the Hella just fly goes over here and has no repercussions for doing that, essentially. Other than, you know, it's a cooldown, I guess, but... You know, the raccoon can probably put another one down. And, and there's another raccoon ultimate, plus a Luna ult, so they're doing way more damage, and we just straight up can't damage them, on top of the fact that her ult is transcendence, but she can also flip over to basically be Lucio speed. So we're just screwed. It's like, we can't do anything. And now, the Hella goes and kills our Mantis. I die eventually, because they just have so much sustain and damage. I get our Star-Lord's trying to make a play in the back line here. He goes down to the... the supports and we just lose the game unfortunately our hella is one hp well, you can't um, expect to win them all. yeah it's just we lose despite the fact that i feel like we played pretty well in this game as a team but unfortunately their margin of error was just so much larger than us i mean you continue you can continue to look at the death totals nine seven and eight i mean we have two people with seven deaths on the team but it's just they were able to get away with like consistently overextending in, in multiple situations. Uh, their Spider-Man basically didn't do anything the whole game and, and yet somehow still won. It's it's just kind of mind-boggling, to be honest. Um, I might do another replay review of, of a game where I we did uh, triple support on defense and basically like just stonewalled the enemy team because they just couldn't do anything, but... Uh, I'm done for now. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you all when I see you. Bye-bye.